Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews here, and I got the uh, Project Source Builder Series 24-inch uh, vanity with top. So I got this for my property. I'm going to put this in, make it look nice. I got it in white. Um, this was only $99. Bucks. Um, it doesn't have a shelf on the inside, so I'm going to build a shelf myself. And I'm going to put a little shelf in there for them because it's always nice to have a shelf. I'm not going to be stupid about it. Um, they did have one with drawers, but it was like an extra $80. And I'm already spending a lot of money. I got to get a new oven for them. And I got to get um, a, a couple of things. I was going to get a microwave maybe. I, you know, I don't know. I was going to get a couple of things. So, you know. All right. I don't see anything busted. This is kind of what you can expect. The um, thingies are over here. The knobs and the screws are right on the side right there. They look pretty nice. And a little nickel-y kind of finish. Um, made in Mexico. All right. So we got this. Fake looking stuff in here. Okay. Uh, very light. Very, very light. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like. White powder everywhere. So it has three holes right there for me to put a sink in. I'm probably going to put the faucet in before I even put the thing together because uh, that'll be a lot easier, won't it? So I'll probably pop that in and you'll see a review on that. So this is what the bottom looks like. So you're gonna connect the thing on that as well. And I'm probably gonna do all the connections now uh, with this um, so I don't have to do it later. Uh, all right, everyone, we got some tools. We're gonna pop this thing out and get it going. We got it off. There it is. Get this thing out. All right, so I uh, cleaned it up with bleach really good. I have a leaky um, valve that I should change out while I have this off. All right, so we're back. Uh, I'm about, you're gonna see me change out this valve. Um, I just got a brass craft, pretty simple, from Home Depot. Um, mine's broken, as you can see. I should have went to the bathroom before I did this because I shut the water off to the house and I have to go to the bathroom really bad. Um, so we're gonna use this, this is a brass craft, pretty simple design. Um, this one's leaking, this one's not. I already have one, so I'm gonna change it out. I mean, you can change out both, it's very simple. But this is the time to do it because everything's open. You're not gonna to wanna to stick your hand and head under there and mess with this thing. So um, let's, uh, let's hold this as best we can and get this thing off, all right? So we're gonna hold it like this, then we're gonna hold it like this, and then we're gonna spin. All right, spin this puppy off, okay? Very simple repair, um, you can do it yourself. Now, um, 
if you don't if you don't want to um what's it called if you don't feel like taking the flare off um you could just um usually this is all the same threading you could just stick this back on and tighten it it'll work fine and it'll seal i've never had any problems So, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, um, cause, uh, it, it is, these are very difficult to try to get off. Um, usually you have to cut this if you want to try to break this flare off. It's really difficult. Um, like, look, I can't, if I was able to just pull this off with no problem, but these are very difficult to try to get off. And I would be banging it around, making this bang around, maybe causing another leak. Who knows? Um, so I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to use the old one, tighten it right on. It should seal fine. Like I said, I, I've changed probably about 20 of these. And I've never had a problem with it leaking. Um, you just want to make sure it's really clean. No debris or anything like that. This thing is like really in the way, so I can't get like a real nice clean on it. Let me see if I can push this back a little bit. All right, so I got new uh, water lines. And the only thing is, well, not, not the only thing. The, the brand, this is the brand I got. I'm not even sure about the brand. There is no brand. What is this? Home, Homeworks. So this is Homeworks. Um, yeah. So I don't know how good they are. I know nothing about this brand. I usually get Brass Craft everything. Um, just because Home Depot carries it, I don't really know if it's a good brand. I mean, I get other brands too, but. So I got 30 inches, just in case. So I got the big one, the longer one, even though I don't even need it. I probably could have got away with eight inches, but um, you know, for an extra like $2, I got this, just in case, because I wasn't sure of the exact setup underneath. So at least I got the longer ones. And like I said, you always want to replace these when you're doing an install on a sink because for $8, not to have this, you know, break break on you and have a leak while you're on vacation, while you're gone, whatever, the damage could be catastrophic. So, and these can fail. So just change these out for a couple of dollars. Not a big deal. We got another unboxing of the Delta Foundations. Uh, guarantee for life. I got a Delta. Delta's great. I love their customer service. I recommend their products all the time. Um, and I, I, I never have problems with uh, calling up and, um, you know, getting assistance or help in commercial or residential. Um, I, I've had both um, sides of it and they're great. So this is the one that I got. Um, I, I got this one because it was cheap. They had a nicer one that was $40 more, but you still get a good warranty and a good um, faucet. This is a little bit smaller than I would want to have in my sink, but, you know, at least I try. I'm trying to do what I can, okay? So, um, so here's what this one kind of looks like, and that's going to be the setup. All right, and then this is the faucet. See, it's copper, copper line right here. And this is uh, how that's gonna be connected on with those. Hopefully that goes easy. Here's the little uh, gasket that you're gonna put on. There's a front and a back. Make sure you put that on right. We're gonna put silicone and seal that up. It's gonna be really nice. 
So, uh, like I said, you, you can tell this is good, uh, you know, copper, no, no plastic in here. Um, so I, that's why I go with Delta. Mona is really good too. I just um, had good experience with Delta, so I go with them. Um, I'm always, I always like to try out new stuff though. I mean, you can't, you know. Um, so this is gonna go in the sink. Um, I usually like to get metal, but this comes with it. So there's no point in, um, you know, playing, you know, uh, spending the money on whatever. I guarantee you that's gonna work just as good. Here's the, um, here's the plates that you use to secure um, the faucet. Here is the magical ball that closes the faucet, well, uh, whatever piece top that closes the faucet, um, well, closes the sink. Uh, place silicone around drain opening. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. It's not my first rodeo, even though I am amateur. This is amateur hour, but you know. All right, so uh, let's get this thing glued up. Get some of the hard shit out of here. Okay, let's stick this thing on and see what happens here. I think it just goes in like this, right? That's it, bam. Bada boom, bada boom, bada bam. Okay, so let's put some silicone on here. If you put too much, it's okay, just clean it up. Because if you put too much, the silicone stains in the sink. So, it's not so buenos. And then it stains and it looks like doo-doos. And you don't want so much doo-doo in the sink, right? So, we're gonna stick this in there and see what happens when we tighten it in, okay? So, we're gonna put this in there like this, like so, okay? And you're gonna push it down, see how it moves that a little bit, but you're gonna wipe that out because otherwise that turns yellow. All right, so let's, uh, do we have my pliers in here, my big pliers? No, we don't. We don't have big pliers in here, huh? Let's see. So I think we're just going to go like this and tighten it on. And the problem with me is I freaking uh, I move the crap out of this. But hopefully the silicone should still work and seal it. So let's see. These go on, they slide on, and then the nut goes. I'll show you the bottom of it in a second. Now you don't want to crank on it because you want to position the sink in the middle. So you just do a little bit of a turn. This way you can um, still move the sink a little bit. All right, so that's how it looks, the bottom, so you guys can see. All right, it goes on like that around the copper pipe. Now let's position this where we want. Usually you want it, I like it towards the front. Um, I usually pull it towards the front, so this way, um, you know, you, um, you get more space over here this way, so I usually try to do that. Okay. You have a rag anywhere? You need a rag? All right, so that looks pretty good, and then we're going to crank on that. Now, you should use a ratchet or something, because for an uh, open-ended wrench, it'll probably work good. Not what I'm doing. That's You're not going to be able to tighten it that much. Well, you probably don't even have to tighten it that much. I hear a little bit of cracking, and I'm only doing it with this, so oh, what the hell. Okay, so they're all tightened on there, perfect. And now we're going to uh, put on the water lines. Put these on already so it's easier. So we're going to stick these on, make the connection after. Um, I don't know where they're going to go, so who knows. We'll just tighten them on for now. 
Same thing, you don't want to crank the crap out of these as well, because then you're just looking for problems. All right, so I found four inch screws. We're gonna check for studs really quick. All right, that's where it says the stud is. So we're gonna hit the stud with two screws right there. All right, so I got these washers, gonna give me a lot of surface area, which is what I want. So, all I have is four inch. These are a little crazy, I know, but. All right, we'll put one more in, but one should probably be enough. That thing is crazy in there. Okay, so we'll sink another one in there. Done and done. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. Pretty much set up in there. We're going to put the silicone on now. Then we're going to put it right on and that's it. We're pretty much done. And then you're going to see what it looks like. All right, we're going to get the handles on real quick, and that's uh, pretty much the setup of what you can expect it to look like. All right, so we'll get the handles on really quick so you can see the finished product. On it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really need marks on it. Alright. Uh, no? Alright everyone, so that's the finished product. That's what you can expect. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I could help. Alright? Everybody enjoy. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye.